thank you for joining us. In this next video segment, we're going to show you how to diagnose a few common problems that are experienced with machines in the field due to unloader pin failures. Uh, we have in, located internally inside of these air compressors what we call unloaders. All of these air compressors are outfitted with something we call dual control, which allows the machine to be either operated in start-stop or in constant run uh, application. When the machine is switched over into constant run application, which is accomplished by turning the valve underneath the pressure switch in line with the pilot valve, it will allow air, once the compressor has reached 125 PSI, to get to the head and allow the unloaders to open the valves and allow the pump to continue to operate. When the unloader pin fails, it tends to have some very discernible, audible differences in what the machine sounds like. We'd like to take a few moments to show you what a properly uh, operating machine sounds like, as well as a machine that is not functioning properly, and then how to repair it. Okay, one way to diagnose in uh, a unloader pin failure is to come to the machine while the machine is off with pressure in the tank, move your hand over to the pilot valve and manually trigger the pilot valve. Now if you listen carefully, you can hear air rushing out of the air filter assembly. Now listen. This is a situation that's been created by me triggering manually the pilot valve. And what that indicates is that we have a failed unloader pin beneath one of these cap assemblies in the pump itself. I will now remove one of the caps to show you the unloader pin. Okay, what we're looking at here is the top of the compressor pump once the caps on top of the unloaders have been removed. If you look carefully in both of these holes here, there are two unloaders, one directly behind the air filter assembly and one to the side. If you look carefully, you can see that the bottom cap here in this photo actually has a hole in the top of it. That indicates a failed unloader pin. To demonstrate to you what a good unloader pin looks like, obviously the one next to it has no discernible hole. And to give you an idea of what one's supposed to look like, this here is a new unloader pin assembly. And as you can see, there's an O-ring, a brass cap, and a post coming out the bottom, solid on top. What we got going on in here is that the one that has the hole in it has had the pin break off of the bottom of the unloader. What we need to do to repair that situation is simply reach inside and remove the unloader and replace with a new one. Let me get a tool here, hold for a moment. 